Welcome back everyone, today we will be discussing none other than Yeezy Day 2021. Specifically, we will be discussing where and when Yeezy Day will be occurring, all of the Yeezys that should be releasing, resale for each of the Yeezys, and methods to increase your chances of copying manually if you can't afford a bot or to rent a bot. To preface this, if you guys enjoy these types of videos regarding the market, reselling, and even info on how to acquire these limited products, be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications, this way you're always 100% updated. Furthermore, for more urgent updates like shock drops, such as the recent Air Force One ICA sneaker stash or Jordan Reserves, follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10, and also personals for you. With that out of the way though, let us jump right into this. For those who do not know, Easy Day 2021 will be occurring on August 2nd, Friday 2021, as we have went over in prior videos. However, Europe and Asia will be on August 3rd. It will start very early in the morning and will go all day long. Yes, I literally mean mean the entire day, assuming this is anything like the prior drop. To provide a quick recap of how the prior Yeezy Day drop went in 2019 because I remember it very clearly, Yeezys were restocking from around 6 a.m. Eastern Time all the way to around 10 p.m. at night. And the last decent pair to go out of stock, being the creams, did not fully go out of stock until about 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So yes, literally the entire day. This is for US. Now as for Europe and Asia, your Yeezy Day again will be occurring on August 3rd according to Yeezy Mafia. For you guys, I don't believe it will go on the entire day. With that said though, you can expect Yeezy Day to occur all through Yeezy Supply, Adidas, and the Adidas Confirmed app. So this means we should be seeing a mix of Q releases on Yeezy Supply and Adidas.com as well as flash raffles on the Adidas Confirmed app. Unless the Confirmed app drops anything via first come first serve, which they did do once on a 700 V3 a while back, then we will not be seeing any first come first serves at all. Remember, Yeezy Supply is no longer Shopify, they are unfortunately demandware now. Believe it or not, with all of Shopify's recent improvements, demandware is is actually significantly easier to mass bot in comparison to Shopify. So this is yet another instance of a company that is disconnected from the botting sphere or perhaps it's to save them money on fees. Either way, it will not be as fun as a Shopify first come first serve drops, especially since bot developers will be pushing updates all throughout the day. If you're expecting to cop one of the extremely limited shoes manually, you'll most likely end up disappointed. But you will certainly have a good shot at some of the general release pairs with high stock and lower profit. Regardless though, there still is money to be made and with this many opportunities, I'm confident that all of you guys, if you try throughout the entire day, should come out with at least some profit or some nice personals. With that short introduction out of the way though, now let's move on to the Yeezy Day drop list. In 2019, these are all of the Yeezys that we did see restock. As you can see from this recap compilation from Yeezy Mafia, they range from very old to some even being the most recent ones to then August 2019. You can expect this same exact situation for 2021's Yeezy Day, a blend of the very recent along with some extremely limited pairs from years ago. To preface this list, I'll explain the sources of this information that I'll be providing. As you guys know, I always provide early information for things related to Jordan, Nike, Nike sneakers, but when it comes to Adidas, I unfortunately do not have those same connections. Hence, the information I'm sharing with you today is actually from a public source that has been relatively reliable in the past, and that is Influence Visions. I feel it is important to provide credit where credit is due. I am not personally able to verify this exact list, however, I have checked the image assets on Yeezy Supply on an endpoint, and this actually is a different endpoint than the archives endpoint, hence I'm quite suspicious of it and the vast majority of these already were loaded. There are some images that are loaded that never dropped on Yeezy Supply while it was demandware. Therefore, it would make sense that a potential incentive as for why these were loaded could be due to Yeezy Day, thus potentially verifying them for the drop. A prime example of this would be for the Yeezy 350 Beluga. Yes, these are loaded. Yes, these are loaded. But anyway, I just wanted to make this all transparent for you guys so you know where I'll be personally checking for this and where this information information is deriving from rather than trying to 100% confirm any of this information as my own because I can't do that unless it's related to a Nike or Nike sneakers release. With that said, let us jump right into the full list of Yeezy Day potential releases along with resale for each of these items. 
first of all, one that I can confirm without any doubts is the Yeezy Foam Runner MX Clay as well as the Yeezy Foam Runner Desert Ochre. We've spoke about these for weeks and they are already loaded at many retailers as well, thus confirming the release. Both pairs retail for $80 and you can expect both to be very profitable with incredible margins, full throttle for sure. Another one that is essentially confirmed is the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. This is another one that we have been discussing for multiple weeks now. These will maintain their old retail of $300, not the new $240 for 700s. And when it comes to resale for all these, the amount they will drop in value will all depend on stock numbers, of course. We don't know exact stock until they actually load it on Yeezy Supply or, of course, Adidas, Adidas Confirm, etc. Then there is an endpoint that will show the stock. Until then, everything right now is pure speculation. My speculation is that the Wave Runner should have a pretty decent amount of stock compared to the other very limited ones that you'll see me discuss later, considering they already have restocked in large amounts in the past. Regardless, I am still expecting all sizes to be profitable, but only expect a poor margin in the larger sizes and a decent margin in sizes under 7 due to the already high retail, unfortunately. Moving on though, this one I actually have not seen images load for at all anywhere, but considering both Yeezy Mafia and Influence Visions both confirmed it, I'm very confident that we will be seeing these. I just could not find the images yet myself, but it is supposed to be a surprise one I suppose. This is for the Yeezy 700 V3 Night Rider, or as you guys know it from when we last discussed these a few weeks ago, the Yeezy 700 V3 Glow in the Dark. What you're looking at is actually just a mock-up Photoshop, but I do believe they should be very similar to this. I can't verify the exact details because again, no images have been loaded. Regardless, these should be retailing for $200, but if they take that route, the Glow 350s, they may increase the retail by $30. Either way though, I am still expecting these to be very profitable with a great margin. I am speculating that these will certainly be one of the more limited 700 V3s. Moving on, we may potentially see the Yeezy 350 Beluga. This one is odd because I did not see either source discuss these, but they have been loaded on that weird endpoint that I did mention. It might just be for archives, but again, it's a different endpoint than the archive one, so I'm not entirely sure about that. Therefore, I still figured I'd let you guys know even though I didn't see anyone talk about it yet. Again, it's not Nike, so I can't confirm this. Hypothetically, if they did drop though, I'd expect them to still be extremely limited and hardly affect resale at all. Hence, they'd still be extremely profitable with an incredible margin. Moving on to the potential pairs that the source did post though. First, we have the Yeezy 350 True Form. These have a retail of $220 and you can expect these to still be very profitable with a great margin if they do drop. However, this is one that I'm speculating might be exclusive to Europe on Yeezy Day, although I'm not sure since we have seen the Asia Synth 350s or also the Aunt Leah's drop on the 2019 Yeezy Day, so we'll see. I think that since this Yeezy Day is going to have the separate region drops, it's very possible that some might still be exclusive to certain regions. Next, we have the Yeezy 350 Zebra once again. These have a retail of $220 and you can expect them to still be very profitable with a great margin if they do drop, just like they did on 2019 Yeezy Day. Then we have the Yeezy 350 Black Reflective. These have a retail of $220 and you can expect them to still be extremely profitable with an incredible margin if they do end up dropping. Hypothetically, I would expect extremely low stock on these as well as the other reflective ones we'll be discussing. So next, we have the Yeezy 350 Synth Reflective. These have a retail of $220 and you can expect them to still be extremely profitable with an incredible margin if they do end up dropping. Hypothetically, again, I would expect extremely low stock on these. Since Asia has a separate Yeezy Day this year, again, it might potentially be exclusive to the region, but I'm not too sure because in 2019 they were not. We shall see. Then we have the Yeezy 350 Cloud Reflective. These have a retail of $220 and you can expect them to still be extremely profitable with an incredible margin if they do end up dropping. Hypothetically, I would expect extremely low stock on these as well. Next, we have the Yeezy 350 Mono Cinder. These have a retail of $220 and you can expect lunch money at best with a poor margin, unfortunately, mostly just on the larger sizes. Moving on, we have the Yeezy 350 Bread. These have a retail of $220 and you can expect all sizes to be profitable with a great margin. Moving on from those though, we have the Yeezy 700 MNVN Black. These have a retail of $220 as 
well, and you can expect all sides to be profitable with a great margin too. Then we have the Yeezy 700 MNVN Orange. These have a retail of $220 too, and as well as the last one, you can expect all sides to be profitable with a great margin. Next we have the Yeezy 500 Utility Black. These have a retail of $200, and you can expect all sides to be profitable again with a great margin. Love to see it. Moving on, we have more Yeezy Foam Runners, specifically the Yeezy Foam Runner Ararat. These have a retail of $80, and you can expect them to be extremely profitable with an incredible margin. Then we have the Easy Foam Runner Sand also restocking. These have a retail of $80 and you can expect them to be very profitable with an incredible margin too if they end up dropping. So far, as of me making this video, that's all we have to discuss. Aside from some bricks I also did see loaded on that endpoint, however, I do definitely believe there will be more than this. I think that this is really only a fraction of what we'll be seeing. We shall see though, of course. Follow me on Twitter, KeithAdam10, and personals for you, and I will be sure to try my best to keep you guys guys updated with everything. But now with that list out of the way so far, let's discuss how to have the best chance of copying these manually. Expect it to be very difficult of course, just a disclaimer, especially on the later releases throughout the day as bots do push more updates. Too bad it isn't Shopify, we would have had an awesome experience if we saw Yeezy related questions, checkpoints, and maybe even a few new domain drops. That would have been incredible, but sadly Adidas does not care enough to make that change back to Shopify. First of all though, Regarding Adidas confirmed, enable notifications for the app and be ready for flash raffles to pop up. I'm not sure if they will do any first come first serves there, it is possible, but if they do, expect it to be a very difficult experience when adding to cart. The app certainly does not perform well at all under heavy traffic. Anyway, nothing much to the raffles that you'll see, it is simply just the law of probability. Points do not matter aside from exclusive access drops, which I'm still not even sure for those. I see people with no points at all hit these raffles very frequently and then sometimes people who do have tons of points don't hit at all so it's certainly still a mystery I personally believe that it's all randomized and perhaps requires a little bit of engagement but certainly not much unlike sneakers I'd personally suggest making as many accounts as possible like Nike they do require SMS verification so you'll have to ask your friends to use their phone number and ask them to send you the verification code or if you rather not bother your friends you could also feel free to purchase pre-verified accounts from my site TARS the link is in the description below now for Adidas and Yeezy supply both we will be using the same method that we have been since I first started this channel back in 2007 17 multiple chrome users although there are some new things worth noting as of 2021 for both yeezy supply and adidas yes this little exploit still does work yeezy supply is sadly no longer first come first serve sadly as we mentioned before they actually used to be one of the best shopify sites with the massive stock throwback to the shopify bypass that was an incredible period of time they are unfortunately demand wear queues now you will see the screen change to the sale has started when it actually does begin for those who are wondering though what i mean by chrome users it's super simple let me walk you through it real quick go to the top right corner of your screen in google chrome click your profile then click add person add a random name emblem then click add repeat this for as many chrome users as you want you can technically add as many as you want but the best amount is relative to your personal computer as it all does depend on your personal computer cpu if you have too many for your computer cpu to handle then it'll be extremely laggy and inefficient so you may have to play around a little bit to find what works better best for you. Also to view all of them at the same time, just a quick tip, use the Windows and Tab button for Windows and the F3 button at the top of your keyboard for Mac. It is also suggested that you only have a maximum of 10 users per IP address. So you can split 10 on your Wi-Fi and another 10 on a different device connected to your hotspot for example, or you can use a proxy switcher free extension, which I would suggest you could get that from Chrome for free. And if you do buy residential proxies, you can even add a unique one for every single single Chrome user since you can generate an unlimited amount anyway. If anyone did want to go this route or if you just need some for botting, feel free to check out the link in the description below for my site Kip Proxies. This is of course to avoid IP bans as the site has been getting more and more sensitive. Now equally as important, make sure to sign into an active Gmail account on each of your Chrome users. Try not to log into the same exact email account on all of them, but it'll still have to be ones that you're relatively active on. This will make passing queue 
far more efficient. Just Google my Gmail V3 score to see how close your Gmails are to a 0.9. The closer they are, the better they are, and that's what's going to increase your chances of actually getting past the queue. Another quick tip regarding the Gmails, .edu and .org emails are amazing. If you have any school emails that use Gmail, for example, those are fantastic to use. Make sure to take advantage of those. But anyway, that will conclude it for today. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, or perhaps if you learned a thing or two, subscribe and enable post notifications just to stay 100% updated on all hyped releases. Also, feel free to check out the links in the description below for reliable, fast residential proxies and pre-verified Nike sneakers or Adidas accounts. Also, feel free to follow Endurance's Twitters for updates on restocks or key giveaways. In fact, there is going to be an Endurance restock tomorrow on August 1st at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And also feel free to follow Gargantua's Twitter if you want to keep up with the progress or free beta key drops. Last but not least, make sure to follow Keith Adam 10 and Personals for you. This way you guys stay updated on all their urgent info like I was discussing today. With that though, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day and of course, good luck. We'll need it. Just one thing to say, get to pull up my foot. I